Hi and welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're gonna look at a few tips to have in mind before purchasing new PC hardware and down in the video description you find some of the greatest and latest Cyber Monday as well as Black Friday deals to help you navigate in this year's biggest sale. Now this video was recorded a few days prior to Black Friday and Cyber Monday and down in the video description which will be updated after this video has been published I'm going to link up some of the best Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday PC part deals as soon as the sale starts and so if you're watching this video on Black Friday or Cyber Monday for that matter uh, the video description is gonna be packed with some of the best PC parts and component deals. In this video I'm gonna give you a solid buying guide and sort of help you and guide you through this year's biggest sale by going over some of the best general tips to have in mind when buying new PC parts so that you don't end up disappointed with low frame rates, stutter and compatibility issues and blue screen. Basically a tragic experience. Alright, so with that said, let's break it down. Let's go over each PC part individually and cover them one by one. And by the end of this video, I'm also saving a few tips that can make you save even more money. So definitely you want to stick around till the end. And with that said, yeah let's take a look at the graphics card so if you're looking to upgrade your graphics card generally you're gonna be able to make the best deals on slightly older models such as the AMD Polaris RX 560 or the RX 580 or the GTX 1050 or the GTX 1060 and these graphics cards will work great for 1080p gaming in pretty much all AAA games now for gaming above 1080p let's say you want to play at 1440 or 4k you're gonna want to step up to the RX Vega 56 or or the RX Vega 64, although both the Vega 56 and the Vega 64 are slowly getting replaced by Navi and the RX 5700 and the RX 5700 XT. Now the RX 5700 usually retails for around $300 and so if you can find this card below $300, a 5700 is a fantastic 1440p graphics card and if you are interested in gaming in 1440, I actually made a video where I benchmarked both the RT RX 2060 and the RX 5700 in 9 of the most popular current games and if you're curious to see the results you'll find that video in the description. Now as for the green team, a GTX 1660 Ti can perhaps also be a viable 1440p option although because this card only has 6 gigs of VRAM and the fact that it's slower than a 5700, I think the 5700 from AMD can be a better buy unless you're able to find the 1660 Ti for a compelling price. Now an RTX 2060 or an RTX 2070 or better are also viable options for 1440 especially if you want to give ray tracing a try. Something as of making this video isn't possible for the red team but because Nvidia is ray tracing exclusive the prices on the RTX cards are still a year after release very high and even though they might get a price reduction during Black Friday you might not be able to save a lot on these cards and since the stock is quite low and the demand is still quite high but again I'm going to list up the best deals in the description and yeah I'm gonna do that job for you but yeah if you want to play a 1080p for example a slightly older GTX 1060 or a RX 570 or an RX 580 is what I like to recommend and as for the 1060 Amria is selling two models here one with three gigabytes of VRAM and another one with six gigabytes and obviously you want to get the one with six gigabytes and this card is actually faster as well. As for AMD, the RX 560 or the RX 580 is what you want to aim for. If you can afford it, I definitely say you should go for the RX 580. And speaking of this card, we got two options here as well. We got 4 and we got 8 gigabytes. And you know which one you should pick, right? Obviously the one with 4 gigabytes. Now I'm just kidding. Obviously you should get the 8 gigabyte version. You might not be able to feel the difference in VRAM right now, but you will definitely see the difference in the future so yeah again you definitely want to aim for the 8 gigabyte version here as for higher end cards in 1440p and 4k I will be linking up the best deals if there are any good ones now moving on to the processor so the best deal you're gonna be able to find is gonna 
gonna be an AMD Ryzen processor and although there will be savings to make on Intel Kaby Lake and maybe uh, even Coffee Lake or you might not be able to save as much. Right now there is an overstock on 1st gen and 2nd gen Ryzen processors and so even though these processors have a slight worse IPC and are quite picky when it comes to memory supported compared to the 3rd gen Ryzen, it can still be a very good deal if you want to get started right away with the new system and since AMD will be supporting the AIM4 socket till 2020, you have the option of upgrading later down the road so hypothetically for example you can pick up a 1st generation Ryzen now let's say a 1400 for a few dollars and then later next year or something you can upgrade to the 3rd gen Ryzen which is going to give you a huge boost in performance without having to upgrade the motherboard in the process. Now something you have to be aware of if you decide something like this, you need to have an upgraded BIOS uh, on your motherboard to support these new processors, otherwise it's not going to work. Now this is an easy process and it takes you about 60 seconds or so to do. Now as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna be able to make savings on the second generation Ryzen as well. And for AAA gaming in 1080p all the way up to 4K, the 2700 or the 2600 are both excellent options for most gamers. Now that be, that all being said, the CPU from Intel's uh, let's say Coffee Lake generation is also a viable option. The problems with these CPUs is that they don't come with a cooler and for the most part they also runs a bit hotter than Ryzen and they also are generally pricier but in the end of the day it's up to you how much you're willing to spend on the processor. Anyway I will link up the best deals in the description down below. Now, uh, let's move on to the motherboards and let's just say that this is a jungle guys and it's very hard to recommend something based on not having any ideas of what features you guys are interested in. So motherboards have premium like overclocking features and uh, onboard Wi-Fi and dedicated amplifiers and sound circuits and so on. But yeah that all being said you can usually save a ton of money here guys because motherboards usually get a nice a great price dump on Black Friday. But there's a few reminders say I want to make. Now, as for AMD, I highly suggest you to avoid the X370 and the B350 chipset if you can. Not because they are bad, it's just that they are starting to get quite old by now. And with the second gen, the X570 and the B450, AMD have improved the chipset quite a lot. And so therefore, this is what I recommend. And yeah, I'm going to link up a few great models down in the video description. Now, as for Intel, I'm gonna leave the best deals down there also. Let's talk about RAM and primary memory. Alright, so the never ending question, should you buy 8 or 16 gigabytes? How much is really necessary? Me personally, I strongly argue that 16 gigabyte is where the future is and this is what I recommend but, but yeah, you're gonna be fine if you purchase 8 gigabytes also and if you let's say buy 8 gigabytes now, you can upgrade later down the road if you like. The biggest takeaway here is that you wanna get at least two sticks which will allow you to run your system in dual channel and dual channel has proven to increase the gaming performance quite a lot so that is something that you don't want to forget. Right, so a few additional things to have in mind it's been proven that AMD benefit quite a lot from faster RAM which will help lower the latency quite a lot and give you better frames in games as a result and this is because of the infinity fabric and the difference between a 3133 memory kit and a 3200 memory kit is quite significant and the latter one can give you a pretty significant boost in frame rate and so as for AMD I strongly recommend you to look for faster memory and so if you can afford to pick up a faster memory frequency of around 3000 up to 3600 that would definitely be the way to go. Motherboard manufacturers also have the QVL lists of all the specific RAM they support and this is something that you might want to look into uh, if you want to guarantee 100 100% compatibility. But yeah, I list up the best deals right now in the video description and this goes for Intel as well. Alright, so SSD is dropping in price right now and here you're gonna be able to make some really awesome deals, especially uh, for the 1 terabyte models but also for 5 gigabyte models. You might even be able to find deals with even more than 1 terabyte storage. As always, I will link up the best deals down below. Now as for case and CPU coolers and power supplies you can 
save a ton here guys and i will link up the best deals down below now, at the beginning of the video i was promising more tips and how you can save even more money all right here is the reality prices on graphics cards are still through the roof guys and in many cases you can actually overclock your stuff and reach a satisfying result and actually save you from spending on new hardware so for example by doing some simple overclocking on your graphics card you can gain about six to even nine to perhaps even 10 fps uh, in many games and if that is not enough you can also lower your settings a bit and by lowering the aa anti-aliasing and quality of shadows can usually also give you about 10 to 12 fps many times and unless you're sitting on very old hardware these two tips could definitely help you save money here also don't forget about the used market this is the perfect chance to grab a used gtx 1050 ti for example really cheap during this biggest sale such as black friday and cyber Monday. Monday, as many gamers now decide to upgrade their gaming PCs. But what about the processor then? Well, in many cases, I'd say in most cases actually, what's bottlenecking your system is not the processor but your graphics card. Also, when it comes to a processors or CPU, things do get a little bit more complicated. In most cases, you are limited to your motherboard socket, and so if you decide to upgrade your processor, you might as well have to upgrade your motherboard as well. And this can also drag up the price quite no noticeably but again you can look at the used markets such as amazon or ebay for used pc hardware and save a ton of money here was there anything i forgot to mention please let me know in the comments below now, i want to thank you so much for watching this video now in case you have any questions let me know in the comments below i'm gonna do my best to help you guys out as always watch either of these two videos somewhere on screen uh, for more uh, content on the channel and until next time thank you so much for watching 